Hey guys, Chris here with Palmer Aquatics. Today we are going to be talking about the Comet Goldfish. This fish is sometimes sold as a feeder fish and it is commonly mixed up with the common goldfish, but it is actually a different species of goldfish. The common goldfish doesn't have an as long elongated tail, so the Comet Goldfish is more sought after, especially in the goldfish and pond industry. A lot of times people find themselves keeping these as pets because they won them at a carnival or maybe you used a feeder goldfish and the fish just didn't eat it and you kept it as a pet or maybe it was just a really super cheap fish to keep as a pet because you can commonly get them for like 40 cents at your big chain pet stores. I've seen the notice that a lot of more experienced fish keepers kind of look down on keeping comet goldfish or common goldfish as pets just because they're so cheap, readily available, overbred, they, they're kind of full of parasites, and they're just sort of boring to say the least. But after doing a lot of research and just hanging out in the goldfish niche or industry a lot, I've really fallen in love with all different types of goldfish. And the Comet Goldfish or the Common Goldfish is a great pet to keep in a pond or even a larger aquarium because you have to remember these fish can get up to 12 inches in growth within two years. So you have to remember this is kind of a misconstrued thing that people don't understand when buying that 37 cent goldfish as a pet to throw in a bowl. You should also know that single tail goldfish like the Comet and the Common Goldfish or the Shabunking Goldfish should not be kept with double tail or fancy tail goldfish. And the reason is because they're a lot faster swimming of fish and they're just more, they get around easier. And when keeping them in the same tank, the feeding scenarios are going to be a lot different. The slower goldfish are going to have a lot more problems swimming around and getting the food. And the faster goldfish are going to consume all of the food because if we're being honest goldfish are absolutely savage feeders and they are relentless so to give you the gist on taking care of these fish or doing a tank setup for possibly getting one they grow very large they get up to around a foot long uh, they're very messy feeders you have to be careful with what tank mates you keep them with. They're cold water fish, so you're not going to want to keep them with other tropical fish. And uh, this is why researching these fish and every fish you get is just totally essential before going out and buying the fish. Um, shout out to David Lamarbo. Beautiful Comet Goldfish there. Some of these fancier, uh, the main difference between the Comet Goldfish and Comet Goldfish is that... The Comet Goldfish has more of an elongated fan tail like that, and the com Common Goldfish has a shorter tail that isn't as beautiful. So the Comet is just more sought after. So guys, Goldfish are uh, here right there. You can see that they are keeping fancies with a Comet Goldfish. It's always not the best idea, but some people do have success with it. If you guys are ever looking for a place to hang out or ask questions, I highly advise you join my Facebook group, Goldfish Keepers. There's over 50,000 members and it's the largest goldfish Facebook group there is. So there's probably someone in there that has an answer for every question you can think of. And I want to give a huge shout out to the admin and moderator team. Moderating 50,000 people worth of posts and questions and spam is a full-time job, and it's an unpaid position. So um, if anything, go there and just hang out and ask your questions. Maybe your fish are sick. Maybe you want to, you know, you have questions about your tank. Guys, goldfish are a really underrated fish. I know I kind of get a bad, uh, some, of my, some of my cichlid buddies give me a bad time about getting into goldfish, but I absolutely appreciate all different types of fish that we keep in fish tanks, all the way down to little neon tetras, to shrimp, to goldfish, to stingrays. I'm absolutely fascinated by just aquatic life in general. So, all right, guys, let me know your experience with the comet goldfish or maybe the common goldfish. They are commonly um, thought of as being the same fish. So awesome, awesome fish. Goldfish are super messy, guys. Make sure to do your water changes just like they are doing in this video here. All right. Whoop, whoop.